Okay, so we've just filled up at a petrol station. And now we're leaving Inverness and we're heading to Fort William. <clears throat> Windsor Castle is. Windsor Castle, we believe, yeah, that's in. But before we get to Fort William, which was suggested by a very close friend of mine, we're going to the right. We're going to head to Drum, Drum, Drum. I don't know what to say. Drum. In three quarters of a mile. Drum. Take the second exit onto Harbour Road. Right, I'm going to say this off because he's, he's annoying me. He's going to pull over. What's this? <laughs> you. Who? Right, wins you constantly. Sorry, right, baby. Yeah, you know, sausage gobbler. <laughs> Go to drum drum cockers off. Drum fuck drum fuck it. Because we believe there's a castle there that was uh, was used in the film The Highlander. Sean Connery and the other fella. It used to be one of my favourite films when I was growing up. Still is like it's so. classic. I love you, man. You love me? Guess what's in gas kill? What's that? Go past these lights. B and B. In gas kill. In Glasgow. In Glasgow. So yeah, we're heading through here four wheels, then we're on our way to Glasgow. To the roundabout. Take the second exit. Mate, you're too mate. Shut up! Seriously, what did you think? It's nice. It was nice? Yeah. You like it? It's alright, but it was freezing like, in the middle of the night. The bed had wheels on it. So every time it turns over, it was like flying down there. And the room. Then yeah, he woke up in the bathroom a few times. Did you feel it was cold? Yeah, cold. That keeping you up a little bit. Yeah. So, so although it was uh, just cleaning, nice. It was, uh, it was freezing, wasn't it? Yeah. Fort William, A eighty two. That's where we're heading. Into Fort William. But on the way, we're going to stop off. At that castle, the drum drum. And we'll have a, we'll have a bit of time there. Mm. Take our time, enjoy the scenery. So, what are you looking forward to in Glasgow? is cracking the flags. It can be quite dangerous when you're on the road. I don't think sunglasses help. Really? That much? But they do look good. Lovely job. Yeah. Cool dude. Cool dude. 
Hey, Bill, you're a cool dude, man. You look so awesome. I reckon me and you should go surfing. Would you like to go surfing, Joe? You know what that means? You don't like, you don't know what surfing means? We got a surfboard and then we just go surf, man. Ride the waves. Waves. Not the waves. Waves, kids. The waves, kids. I'm not a big talker in the morning, leave me, Joe. Right. I'm not, I'm not, to be honest, I'm not a big talker. I'm just talking more to Joe to keep the, keep the narrative flowing. Get away from me legs now. Get him, get him. No. He's drunk. Walking under my legs. Get to the back. Come on, mate. At the back. At the back. We're on our way to a place called Drum Drocket, Joe. Drum Drocket. Drum Drocket. See if you can pronounce that. I can't pronounce it. Very well. So let's give it a go. Drum Drocket. Drum Drocket. Drum. Drum. The rocket. Drum. Drum Drocket. No, not rocket, the rocket. The rocket. The rocket. The rocket. The room the rocket. Room rocket. Well, anyway, it's a castle. It was used in the movie The Highlander. So I was sold by a friend of mine. Let's hope you're right, George. We're going to pull up. And we're going to soak in the views. At the place called Drum Rocket. Drum Rocket. Drum. Drum Rocket. Say, 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 like two, two syllables, okay? Drum. Boom. Drum. Drum. Like a bum bum. Bum 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 We're on our way to Fort William. I just thought we'd pull over and show you the views that we're seeing. This is a lock, you can't see nothing, it's just got a big massive mist floating on the top of the water. Clouds, wow. full of rain. Had a look at things. Do we call a con then? I think you do. Come here, eh? Let me meet you, man. It's gone from the sun crack of the flags to the snow. <laughs> There's no point in me wearing these sunnies now, Joe. No. You alright with your thumbs? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing with them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You keep standing here. It's a video and he does that every time. He forgets to put them down, don't you? Right. Should we get back on the, the cramp here? Here we are at Erke Castle. I think I've pronounced it right. Is that right, Erke? Erke Castle. Erke Castle. So we're going to explore 
Have you got your um, your armor? What's that? In case it comes on top, we have to battle our way out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. No, mate. No. We'll have to go back to the van and get it right. Yeah. Get your shield. <laughs> One nil. <laughs> One nil. <laughs> There you go, Joe. Let's get you the mobility scooter. <laughs> go for a spin. <gasps> what? No. <laughs> it's a scarf. It's a scarf. Okay, should we go to the visitor centre? Yeah. Okay. Take away. Take away, please, mate. And a couple of coffees. Right, Joe, you've got to get on this. <laughs> Hurry up. You've got to ride the town to the castle. <laughs> Have you got a name for it? Yeah. You've got to name it. Stanley. Stanley? Stanley. Stanley the Stag? I believe so, yeah. Stanley. We'll have to say Stanley on the Stag too. <laughs> in the Celtic corner in Liverpool, like. Eh? Get them on the boat. Right, so we're going to go down and see this amazing castle. You ready? Yeah. Get on these views. <laughs> you alright kids? Yeah. What's up? My own races. Well, we'll, we'll, get, them. we'll get to this bench and then we'll tie them. Wow. You did it? Let's have a look at this, Joe. It looks like one of those slings, one of those medieval weapons they used. Yeah. To beat the walls of a castle as mighty as Urquhart, an attacker needed siege engines. Most fearsome was the Red Bouchet. A type of giant catapult, catapult that could hail massive stone balls hundreds of meters. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> 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 what That's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> Massive stone balls. <laughs> Would you reckon we throw yours in there? No. <laughs> They'd smash right through them castle walls, them like. <laughs> they haven't seen any action since day one, have they? <laughs> well, let's get ourselves down here. Inside, please do not climb on the walls, Joe. Mm. Right, read what it says. Don't be climbing on these walls. I don't want to be turning around and see you running across the top of that. Yeah, yeah. okay, let's go inside. So, we're walking into the guard room. Okay, so, so this is the guard room, yeah, yeah. 
the prison shell. <laughs> Imagine spending the night in this narrow, windowless shell. There is a latrine at the far end, but little else for the castle's unfortunate prisoners. Where's the latrine? The far end. No idea. Right, do you want to head up them stairs? Sure. Let's go. Let's go for a little walk further on. Beyond the walls. Beyond the walls, yeah. Just outside Aircart's defence was the castle's toon. Toon. It says toon. Work that was too dangerous, smelly or demanding of space to be carried out within the walls it was done in the area before you. Should we go and explore some more? Yeah. Right, Joe, we're under attack, yeah? Get yeah. your bow and arrow out. Yeah? yeah. Fire them shots. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Have you missed anyone? No. Why not? Uh. <laughs> 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 well, there's some target practicing, so yeah. Check out the views. Power. This is called the Grand Tower. This tower was built sometime after King James gave Urquhart to John Grant of Ferenci in 1509. So it's a fold in it. Should we get ourselves inside? Have a little nose. So who lives in a house like this? <laughs> Okay, should we go up those spiral stairs? Yeah. Let's go then, it's a one way system. I might not be able to fit through that doorway, but I asked on me like a Bombay money lender. What are you? I'm the king of the castle. Get out, mate. What do we have here? Locally sourced produce to help meet the challenge of feeding Urquhart. This room was converted into a corn drying kiln in the 1500s. So this is like the storeroom for all the food. This is where you'd put all your biscuits. Yeah? If you were living in the medieval times. Put our toast in the middle there. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Some history, Joe. The expression of square meal came from the simple wooden board which or square on which 
for more folk, food was served and eaten. Fine turned wood bowls and plates like these would have graced the Lord's high table. Fish balls here, Joe. There you are, mate. There's your fillet of fish there. Fish burger. Yeah. You'd have been sorted there back in the day, wouldn't you? Yeah. Cool. I'm not messing, mate, Joe. Mate, you don't realise how loved you are. Seriously. The messages I receive because of you and about you just blow me away. How cute you are. What an amazing smile you have. The innocence. It's just, you know, it's powerful. I wish you, you could understand. How much you mean to other people. You just go about your day, you just don't. Don't really mind, do you? Yeah. I know sometimes you ask you difficult questions. And I don't treat you any differently from any of my other siblings. Mm. And I do know and I understand you more than they do because I'm with you. I'm in your company yeah. more often than them. Apart from my mum, my mum knows you like the back of her hand, doesn't she? You're a bit of a grinch in the morning. Which is true. But you haven't been so bad on the road, have you? No. You ain't, <laughs> you ain't getting up in the morning. When I picked you up, you were sitting there with a face on you like a wet sock, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Miss me, Mum. Yeah. We'll speak to her soon. She's been good to you over the years, hasn't she? Yeah. I got a strong mouth. You got a strong mouth? What's up with it? It's a mouthwash. Some mouthwash? You've got some with you, have you? Some with Okay, so when we find somewhere to stop, we'll, we'll sort that. Beautiful, John. Have you, you got a tape there? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got a date? Yeah. Little waterfall. What's your favourite thing in the old wide world? Uh, you know, I wish I had an apartment in Benidorm. You wish you had an apartment in Benidorm? That's my dream. That's your dream? Well, so you could go over once a year? Yeah. How many, well, if you did have an apartment in Benidorm, yeah. would you move there? Or would you just go there for an holiday? Holiday. How often? A year? Would you go? May, June, August. May, June and August? Yeah. Any more? Just in three months? Yeah. And how long would you spend each time you were there? Six months. Six months? Yeah. <laughs> you don't understand the concept of time, do you? You go May, June, August. 
you only spend six months every month. Yeah. No. So you've got one month, right? But in a month, you've got four weeks. Yeah. 28 days, give or take. Yeah? Yeah. So you go for one month, right? Or you go, say, May. There's four weeks in that month. How many weeks would you go for in May? Two weeks. Two weeks standard. Yeah? yeah exactly. Standard. Yeah? That's the La Vista baby. That's the La Vista baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two weeks ends off, yeah? Yeah. And then you've got June again. Standard. Two weeks. Yeah. August. Two weeks. So you do six weeks a year in Benetton if you have the chance. Yeah. Anything is possible, Joe. Anything is possible. Been to better dog. Seen a program. Madge. Madge. Is that the R one who flies around in it? <laughs> in a little zimmer thing. Yeah. You know John, don't you? Excuse me, John who? Yeah. Johnny Vegas. Yeah. Marlo from where was he from? Uh, Emmerdale. And who was who was it that we seen? John from Benetton. Yeah. I'm not a big I'm not up to date on my shows. I did recognise a few faces. So that's your plan, that's your dream. I remember another, another dream. You got another dream? Remember when we had you got kicked out today? Remember? Oh, when we got kicked <laughs> out? Yeah. Got kicked out by a job's worth. We went to this celebrity bowling yeah. event that we were invited to by... Louise. Louise. Was it Louise? Yeah. She, um, she invited us, we went along. Few celebrities there. We got we got made to feel welcome by Danny Schofield. He introduced us to everybody. Lovely fella. I think he played rugby for someone. Oh, well, his brother did. And Steve, Steve. Yeah, you remember more than me. Oh yeah, we got we got swerved, didn't we? We got. We got led because you were celebs. But you know what, mate? You're the biggest. You were the biggest celebrity there. <laughs> you were the biggest superstar there. Right, so let's get going. Let's get moving. Let's get moving now. We're just going to take our time on this journey. Come here, boy, get here. Come on, crossing the road. Go. Once again. Some incredible views. That's the boat we came in on, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> That's the boat I started, started life in. <laughs> I 
Look at this, so we're going to head over to this bridge. It's called the Bridge of Oich. 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 O I C H. Oich. 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 Anyway. Let's go. Once again, the scenery is beautiful. Let's head over. So this is it, the bridge of Oich. The old bridge is swept away in 1849. Flood swept through the Great Glen, breaching the Caledonian Canal behind you and destroying the stone bridge over the river. Oich. It took five years before its replacement. This bridge was open to traffic. Okay. Let's have a little nose. Look at it, it's incredible, Joe. This is something you'd see in fairy tales. Who's this man? The Runcorn Bridge. Of what? Do you mind the Runcorn Bridge? Yeah. Why? Going over with it. It's a small version of Runcorn Bridge. I, I get what you mean with the um, the colour, right? The colour scheme. Okay. So we're now on the bridge. What's happening, little doggy? <laughs> cool. Hey, bye bye. He's getting on, kid. The views are incredible. So yeah, that's Oi Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> so I made George senses to Fort William. Oh, piss myself. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> Said to the old woman behind the counter there. Where's the best sights? She said, hey, you're seeing them. This is it. So yeah, anyway, Fort William. We're at Fort William. Fort Willie. <laughs> we're, on, we're on our way to Loch Lomond. It is, it is beautiful, so the Jacobite steam trains in retirement till about March, so we're going to miss out on that. Nice but other than that, the Flying Army. Flying like a <laughs> <laughs> We are heading out to Fort William and in the direction of Loch Lomond.
You ready, lad? Yeah. We're going to climb up this, aren't we? Yeah. Do you it'll be slippy? Yeah. Do you think we'll make it? No. <laughs> Should we just do it anyway? Yeah. Do you want to go up? I'll be good. Go on then, I'll wait here, you go first. Give us a show when you're back, Joe. Get here, quick, get back. <laughs> Only winding you up, you don't want to do it, do you? Not, not, not when the weather's like this. No. I will swear that. It's just a view. It's just, we'll just look at the views. So even in the highlands, look at that waterfall. So, uh, yeah. Yes, once again, so even in the highlands, we have... We have graffiti all over the place. Free Billy Peach. Don't know who Billy Peach is, but they want to free him. Another one, Plans Emmet. Google Plans Emmet 201. Flat Earth. Everywhere. <laughs> right, should we go and have a little look at this waterfall? Yeah. Okay. in a lifetime. Yeah. Okay. That's what you want. And that's 
that's what you shall get. It's unbelievable, so we've drove right past Loch Lomond within a blink of an eye, it's gone. Satnav said, proceedings is stop and then what way? Just carries on. Never mind. Glasgow's not that far away. Get to the city. Yeah. You look for that then? Yeah. Let's put some effort in. Right and do. To a proper diet. Eat. Yeah. Stick to uh, eating healthy, cutting, shit. Foods out. But for myself, it's never cooked with more iron. You should get on the Al Cardio. You get some more walks in. Stop, stop eating all that crap on top of other crap as well. Mm. At the moment, we're just going to um, enjoy ourselves. Yeah, it's like we've arrived in Glasgow. We're stuck in traffic. It's around well, it's after four o'clock in the evening. We're just going to head to the town centre. Yeah. Yeah. You tired though? No, it's... it always. I enjoyed this journey because it's given me time to reflect. I don't want you to know, Joe, that no matter what, I'm always here for you, okay? Thank you. Don't worry if anyone ever gives you any beef. Not only will I stand up to them, so will lots of other people. Because you're loved. I love you so much. You got my lights somewhere with them? The lights. You pop up to the lights, which is summer. A hell of a lot of travelling, haven't we? Yeah. So we'll have a little walk around Glasgow tomorrow. Rest up tonight. No idea where. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Yeah, tomorrow is another day in the office. Another day in the office. You want your own them uh, bang bang chicken, aren't you? Yeah, bang. There's your haggis balls there. Mm. You're getting ready for them. Yeah. <laughs> so this is just the starters. Couldn't get scampi and chips. So we'll have this. This will make sure you've got fish and chips anyway, haven't you coming? Yeah. Right Joe. It's been another long day. We're here in Glasgow. Had a ball, haven't we? Yeah, had a ball. So We'll take a little Toby round Glasgow tomorrow, show you the sights. Yeah. So that'll be a good night from me. Yeah. And good night from me. Another day? Another day. Another. Another. You're on it. So that, we're signing off. <laughs>